हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर खेमचंद सुराना इन लास्ट सेशन वी हॅव स्टार्टेड विथ दी अँटी कॅन्सर अँटी मेटाबोलाइट्स एजंट इन दॅट वी हॅव सीन द वॉट इज अँटी मेटाबोलाइट एजंट अँड देअर क्लासिफिकेशन विथ दिस क्लासिफिकेशन देअर आर थ्री सब क्लासेस ऑफ दिस अँटी मेटाबोलाइट एजंट दॅट इज प्युरिन अनालॉक्स पायरिमिडिन अनालॉक्स अँड फोलिक ॲसिड अनालॉक्स इन प्रिवियस सेशन वी हॅव डिस्कस विथ दी पायरिमिडिन अनालॉक्स इन दॅट वी हॅव सीन द डिफरंट ड्रग्स दॅट इज वॉट फायफ्लोरो युरासिल सेटाराबिन देअर मोड ऑफ ॲक्टिवेशन अँड देअर मेटाबोलाइज मेटाबोलिझम दिस ऑल पार्ट वी हॅव सीन इन लास्ट सेशन नाव इन टुडेज सेशन वील स्टार्ट विथ दी सेकंड सब क्लास ऑफ दिस अँटी मेटाबोलाइट अँटी कॅन्सर एजंट दॅट इज वॉट प्युरिन अनालॉक्स ओके so these uh, purin analogs basically uh, design of anti metabolite agents okay based on the purin structure okay so based on purin structure these anti metabolite agent has been designed which begins with the isoteric replacement of thiol sulf hydryl group to replace the 6 hydroxyl group of hypoxanthine and guanine okay so whatever these uh, purin analogs has been designed okay by what isosteric replacement of these thiol sulfhydryl group okay by the what this six hydroxyl group of hypoxanthin so basically how these uh, purine analogs has been act or shows their mechanism of anti cancer action so they were inhibit the biosynthesis of purine nucleotides okay what are the purine nucleotides into the cancerous cell so these analogs were inhibit the biosynthesis of purine nucleotides or change them to form that interfere with normal cellular functions okay either they were inhibit the purine nucleotide synthesis or they were change uh, the normal cellular function okay means they were interfere the normal cellular function such as synthesis or the functions of nucleic acid okay so by this process these purine analogs has been shows their action so now the first uh, example or the first drug from these uh, purine analogs the structures has been already seen in previous class uh, we have seen okay so the first drug is what mercaptopurine so the mercaptopurine is the ribose diphosphate and triphosphate are active enzyme inhibitor okay so whatever these mercaptopurine okay uh, structure from these or the example from these purine analogs it will in ini, uh, initially converted into uh, ribose monophosphate from monophosphate to diphosphate and triphosphate so these are what active enzyme inhibitors and the triphosphate form can be incorporated into the dna means triphosphate form is what active form which will incorporate into the dna and rna to inhibit the chain elongation process okay once the triphosphate form has been synthesized form which will incorporate into the dna or rna and inhibiting the chain elongation process so by this uh, conversion of the monophosphate to triphosphate process this six mercaptopurin has been act so this will be given intravenously since oral absorption is incomplete okay so because of oral absorption is incomplete so this uh, mercaptopurin is given intravenously uh, basically so now uh, next uh, here again the structure for your reminder purpose again structure has been given six mercaptopurin and azathioprene okay so these mercaptopurin basically uh, used primarily in the maintenance of reemission patients with acute lymphocytic leukemia okay whatever reemission okay means again the cancerous cells has been developed in particular patient called as reemission with this acute uh, lymphocytic leukemia and is given in the combination with mtx mtx means methotrexate which is what folic acid analog for this purpose okay so side effect of these uh, six mercaptopurin basically uh, myelosuppression the nausea omitting 
jaundice okay so these are what the side effects and also in uh, long terms mercapto if the mercapto purine has been used they will cause the hepatotoxicity okay so these mercapto purine may causes the hepatotoxicity in long term use the azathioprine okay so azathioprine uh, which is what the derivative of the mercapto purine okay so mercapto purine derivative will be there so instead of a uh, uh instead of the thio uh, instead of the thio or mercapto group in case of mercapto purine the whatever the uh, uh one methyl five nitro imidazole ring has been substituted uh, on the purine ring okay that is called as a azathioprene okay so this is what the derivative of mercapto purine you can see the structure of mercapto purine and azathioprene so instead of sh group there is what Uh, methyl five nitro imidazole ring has been substituted. So effect as well as uses of this azathioprine again uh, similar. Okay. So uh, now we'll move to the uh, uh, metabolic uh, conversion or the formation of metabolite of this six mercapto purine. Okay. So this six MP six MP means what? Six mercapto purine. so in the presence of hgprt okay hgprt means what hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase okay so in the presence of this hgprt this 6 mercapto purine will converted into 6 mp mp means what mp means 6 mp means 6 mercapto purine is converted into 6 thioenosine Five monophosphate, six MP, MP. Okay, by the HGPRT and activation of hypoxanthine. Okay, so uh, activation of what your xanthine oxidase. You can see the XO has been given over here. So uh, initially, what happened? This six MP will convert it into six MP, MP. Okay, uh, by HGPRT. Now, secondly, what uh, xanthine oxidase XO. This six MP has been converted into thiouric acid by using this xanthine oxidase, and also uh, it will convert it into what S methyl mercapto purine, S methyl MP. Okay, so by using what TPMP, TPMP means what thiopurine methyl transferase. So these are what the different metabolites of six mercapto purine. Okay. so this is what the metabolic activation of this 6 six, 6 mercapto purine draw the uh, reaction of this metabolic uh, conversion and practice it now uh, uh, this 6 mercapto purine also inhibits the uh, conversion of inosinic acid to adenylic acid okay so it will convert into what inosinic acid to adenylic acid so you can see the structure of inosinic acid by two steps it will convert it into what adenylic acid so this is what the normal process and what are these six mercapto purine which inhibit this process so this is what the one more mechanism of uh, this six mercapto purine now the further second example from this uh, purine analogs is what thioguanine okay so thioguanine is what again uh, six mercapto analog of the guanine okay so six mercapto analog of the guanine means guanine is the basic structure and at six position there is sh group you can see the structure there is what nh2 nh2 means what guanine will be there means purine is what uh, guanine is what your purine analog and on this guanine there is what sh means mercapto at second th- uh, sixth position okay Uh, that's why it is called as thioguanine is what the six mercapto analog of guanine again this thioguanine will converted into the diphosphate and from diphosphate to triphosphate okay so thioguanine is incorporated into the rna and its 2 dash deoxy metabolite is incorporated into the dna okay once these uh, their diphosphate as well as triphosphate form has been formed this will incorporate into the rna and two d dash uh, deoxy metabolite okay uh, and uh, after incorporation into these they were uh, inhibit 
the process of RNA as well as DNA synthesis as, as also causes the cell damage okay so absorption of these drug basically uh, they were given with allopurinol okay given with what allopurinol uh, which increases the activity of thiogonin and uh, decrease in possible hyperuricemia during the treatment by the inhibition of inactivation by hypoxanthine okay so they were given with what allopurinol and they increases the activity of the thiogonin okay these allopurinol were increases the activity of th thiogonin and decreases the hyperuricemia okay and uh, during the treatment of what your uh, inactivation by xanthine oxidase okay so this is basically useful in the acute leukemia okay in case of acute leukemia this drug has been utilized so side effect of these uh, purine analogs is mild suppression okay git disturbance neurotoxicity and nephrotoxicity so these kinds of side effect of this thiogonin has been reported so now the mode of action of uh, this thiogonin basically 6 tg we can also call okay thiogonin or 6 tg so basic structure of uh, this 6 tg has been given over here uh, thiogonin structure given so in the presence of what uh, hypoxanthine gonin phospho phosphoribosyl transferase okay hgprt we can call it okay hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase in short we can call hgprt so it will convert it into monophosphate okay from monophosphate okay it will convert it into diphosphate from diphosphate it will convert it into triphosphate okay you can see the triphosphate form which is what the active species of this thiogonin and this triphosphate will incorporate into the DNA as well as RNA and inhibit the enzyme that's why they were called as a enzyme inhibitor and block the uh, process of DNA synthesis as well as RNA synthesis and causes the cell damage so this is what the mode of action or the mechanism of action of thiogonin so now the further uh, examples from these uh, purine analogs is vidarabine okay so vidarabine is what uh, adenine arabinoside we can call also okay vidarabine also called as adenine arabinoside which contains the sugar that is what is d arabinose okay so d arabinose which is the epimeric with d ribose okay epimeric form with d ribose at second position in also previous session uh, we have seen what these uh, particular uh, uh, citarabine okay in case of what citarabine we have seen so citarabine having what the epimeric sugar of the ribose okay that is what arabinoside we can call so here also similar so epimer with what d ribose okay at second dash position these structural changes uh, make it competitive inhibitor of DNA polymerase okay whatever the structural changes has been between these structures of vidarabine okay that is what epimeric form they were uh, makes the drug what is competitive inhibitor of DNA polymerase this activity accounts for its antineoplastic as well as antiviral okay so this vidarabine also was antiviral in antiviral uh, session we have seen these beta having what showing us what antiviral activity and because of uh, these structural changes they were what competitive inhibitor of dna polymerase and shows the anti cancer as well as antiviral activity so the beta having structure has been given over here so fluid having structure also given and pentostatin okay so these all what other analogs of this purine purine uh, Antimetabolic agents. Okay. So now the next and uh, last subclass of this uh, antimetabolite uh, agent uh, that is what the folic acid analogs. Okay. Folic acid analogs. So in that the first major example is what methotrexate. Also we have seen the aminopterin, uh, tritrexate. Okay. Uh, and uh, methotrexate so these are what the folic acid analogs so methotrexate also in short called mtx okay the structure of methotrexate and folic acid is what similar okay so methotrexate is actively transported into mammalian cell okay so this will what converted into okay means transported to the mammalian cell 
and inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase okay so this drug will inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase the enzyme that normally converts the dietary folate to tetrahydrofolate okay so this methotrexate basically what inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase and this dihydrofolate reductase is required for what conversion of dihydrofolic acid to tetrahydrofolic acid or tetrahydrofolate which is required for the thymidine and purine synthesis okay so this dhfr require for what thymidine as well as purine synthesis if once this dfhr has been synthesized that means what interfering with synthesis of dna and rna precursor so this is what the simple mode of action of methotrexate structure has been given on to the nitrogen there will be ch3 will be there so this ch3 is important as per their mode of action so once already we have discussed uh, this methotrexate is what similar to folic acid so we can see the similarity between folic acid and methotrexate so in center part there is what paba means para amino benzoic acid will be there in left side there is what uh, pteridine ring will be there okay uh, and in right side there is what glutamic acid will be there so all parts of this folic acid has been uh, exactly matches to the what methotrexate exception okay exception is what in case of uh, folic acid at uh, pteridine ring there is oh will be there and in case of methotrexate there is what nh3 will be there okay so this is what the difference between this folic acid and methotrexate and one more difference is what uh, in uh, in the ring of paba okay there is what nh only and in case of methotrexate there is what nch3 will be there so this ch3 is important for their mode of action mode of action means what this folic acid is what uh, helpful means uh, it requires for the dna rna synthesis into what this cancerous cell or bacterial cell we can call but once this hydrogen and this nh2 has been replaces okay means the hydrogen replaced by ch3 and oh replaced by nh2 which will convert it into means folic acid is converted into what methotrexate this will uh, act as what poison for the cancerous cell okay so this is what the structural similarity between the folic acid and methotrexate now uh, the fo uh, these folic acid analogs basically useful in the choriocarcinoma okay then trophoblastic humor okay in case of breast cancer testicular cancer then medulloblastoma then psoriasis rheumatoid arthritis then acute uh, acute lymph uh, lymphatic leukemia in children and osteosarcomas okay so in all kinds of uh, cancers okay so this folic acid analog has been utilized the side effect of this uh, folic acid analog basically again the myelosuppression okay is major one then producing severe leukopenia okay so severe leukopenia also produces bone marrow aplasia then thrombocytopenia okay thrombocytopenia then alopecia dermatitis okay then intestinal pneumonitis and teratogenesis also renal toxicity so these kinds of side effects of these folic acid analogs reported now the mode of action of uh, these folic acid analogs uh, again similar to uh, already we have discussed into the theory okay so we'll look into again okay so dihydrofolic acid basically converted into what tetrahydrofolic acid so dihydrofolic acid structure here given okay so this dihydrofolic acid converted into tetrahydrofolic acid and this tetrahydrofolic acid is what require for what conversion of dump to dtmp means deoxyuridine monophosphate to deoxythymidine monophosphate by using thymidylate synthetase enzyme okay so this process requires this tetrahydrofolic acid and once this thymidylate has been synthesized okay from uh, 2 deoxyuridine monophosphate okay so this thymidylate is required for the synthesis of dna okay so this is what the normal process okay but if uh, this conversion of dihydrofolic acid to tetrahydrofolic acid okay by using tetrahydro uh, by using dihydrofolate reductase okay occurs 
if we inhibit this dihydrofolate reductase by methotrexate okay here the methotrexate given which will inhibit the dhfr means what dihydrofolate reductase and production of tetrahydrofolate okay once this enzyme has been inhibited the production of tetrahydrofolic acid has been stopped and whatever the conversion of dump to dtmp okay means deoxyuridine monophosphate to thymidylate okay which is required for dna synthesis okay ha this process has been stopped okay so this is what the mode of action of folic acid analogs okay now uh, we'll move to the uh, synthetic part okay so uh, till now we have seen the two major two major classes of these anti cancer agent first is what your uh, alkylating agent and second is what anti metabolites okay so from alkylating agent there are two synthesis which will uh, ask in examination okay for 3 marks or 5 marks so we'll move to the synthetic part initially then uh, in uh, next session we'll discuss the uh, further classes of the anti cancer agent that is what anti cancer antibiotics then uh, plant based anti cancers okay then hormones okay so these will look into the next session so the first uh, synthesis of chlorambucil okay chlorambucil is what alkylating agent so this synthesis will ask for 3 marks so this will synthesize by the uh, you can see the starting material para amino phenyl butyric acid okay so para amino uh, para amino phenyl butyric acid plus two uh, molecules of ethylene oxide okay ethylene oxide so in the presence of this uh, uh, ethylene oxide this para amino phenyl butyric will convert it into first metabolite means whatever the nh2 group present over here at this nh2 whatever this ethylene ring has been break and substitution of ch2 ch2 oh will be there okay so two molecules of ch2 ch2 oh ch2 ch2 oh substituted on this nh2 okay the remaining part aromatic ring ch2 three times and coh as it is so again uh, in the presence of socl2 okay so in the presence of socl2 uh, at this intermediate there is what ch2 ch2 oh will be there so by chlorination reaction this oh okay has been removed okay and it will replaces by the chlorine okay so ch2 ch2 cl will be formed at both positions okay so ch2 ch2 coh will converted into ch2 ch2 cl so this is what the structure of chloram bucil it is what the simple synthesis which will ask for 3 marks in examination or in the combination with 10 marks okay so this is what the first synthesis of chloram bucil now the uh, second synthesis that is what synthesis of mefal fan okay mefal fan this is also what alkylating agent so this uh, mefal fan basically uh, synthesized by using uh, three para nitrophenyl two amino propionic acid you can see the basic uh, starting material given over here three para nitrophenyl two amino propionic acid plus thylic anhydride okay so in the presence of alcohol c2h5 and acidic condition so water molecule has been removed okay and uh, complex between these two uh, has been formed further there is nitro group on this aromatic ring given over here so in the presence of tin and hydrochloride okay so reduction has been occur this nitro group will converted into what amino okay so reduction has been occur again uh, in the presence of two molecules of ethylene oxide two ethylene oxide molecule has been given over here so uh, at this nh2 like your chlorambucil Uh, this uh, two ethylene oxide ring has been cleaved and substituted on the hydrogen of this nh2 means ch2 ch2 oh ch2 ch2 oh has been formed again in the presence of pocl3 means chlorination will occur okay chlorination will occur this oh has been replaced by chlorine at these both positions you can see further uh, uh, in the presence of hcl and thalic acid Uh, COO C2H5 means ester will be given in the last intermediate. Okay, so in the presence of HCl, this ester will cleave and convert it into acid, and will get the final structure of mefalfan. So this is what the synthesis of mefalfan. 
for more clear uh, i have uh, uh, given a square uh, over here for getting uh, these reaction steps so at nh2 the first step has been occur it means complex between these uh, starting metal of 3 para nitrophenyl 2 amino propionic acid and thylic anhydride has been formed so now in second step uh, there is what no2 will be there in the presence of tin and hcl okay it means reduction has been occur these nitro group will convert it into nh2 further uh, in next step two ethylene oxide molecules were came and they were interacted with this nh2 will get uh, the ch2 ch2oh ch2 ch2oh at this both position further in the presence of pure cl3 these uh, oh oh will be what uh, uh, replaces by the chlorine and in the presence of hcl these ester okay coo c2h5 will convert it into what acid and will get the mefalpam structure so uh, for more clearance i have uh, uh, i have given the square over here for uh, getting better so these are what the different types of mefalpam synthesis so this is what about the uh, synthesis of chlorambucil and mefalpam from the alkylating agent class okay so now uh, from these uh, anti metabolite uh, class okay so second major class that is what anti metabolites so synthesis of methotrexate okay synthesis of methotrexate has been asked in examination so here given the synthesis of methotrexate quite simple synthesis okay which will ask for 3 or 5 marks so the synthesis from uh, pyrimidine 2 4 5 6 tetra amine okay so the starting metal given over here first is what pyrimidine 2 4 5 6 tetra amine means at 2 position 4 position 5 position and 6 position okay there is what nh2 will be there pyrimidine 2 4 5 6 tetra amine plus 2 3 dibromopropranol okay br ch2 chbr ch o okay propranol aldehyde will be there okay 2 3 dibromopropranol okay and the next one is this intermediate okay diacid kind of so in the presence of uh, barium chloride bacl2 uh, then water molecule and NOH okay and uh, acetic acid iodine or potassium iodide okay at the pH of 3.1 will get the methotrexate okay so just uh, remember these all three starting materials okay then arrow and on arrow these two condition two condition is what barium chloride okay NOH acetic acid iodine or potassium iodide will get the methotrexate just learn the methotrexate structure uh, remember all three uh, starting materials okay so this is what the quite simple synthesis of your methotrexate which will ask for either three marks or five marks okay so uh, here the your second major class that is what uh, anti metabolite has been finished okay in next session we will start the antibiotic anti cancer agents okay Till that, uh, thank you and happy learning.